let's actually try to end the cafe, maybe, or detective will be back. Maybe that's a fake? Okay, so plunder is dead. How about talking with you? Oh my head. Never again. How much vodka did I drink? No, don't tell me. What is your name, Shelley? George Stobart, ma'am. Oh. American. She asked the question quite innocently, but I could sense her reserve. It was something which seemed to afflict all Europeans. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? Uh, yes? Yes, I am. I studied under Dr. Benton. Who is he? Only one of the most brilliant medical minds on this planet. He taught me everything I know about medicine. Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. Sure. Is that straight or with ice? Just give me the bottle with a cheat on it. I guess a little drop won't hurt. Oh, man. Ah, that's better. She knocked back the brandy as if it was water. I was glad I wasn't picking up the check. <laughs> what about the old man? Is he dead? Yes, he is. I think he might be. I've never seen a real-life corpse before. Except for Grandmamon. That was different. She was family. Has he gone stiff? I shouldn't think so. He's only been dead a few minutes. Do you remember what happened when the clown entered? I remember that all about Tuni played all right. It was like a funeral dirge. I'd never liked accordion music either. Did the clown speak to the old man? No. He just laughed at him. Then he, he grabbed the old man's briefcase and ran out of the door. Oh, that's some important news. Well, that's out of worry better. I can now learn some more. What about briefcase? Did you see what the old man had in his briefcase? No, he didn't open it. Did you know the old man? No, monsieur. I never saw him before. Did the old man try to stop the clown? Oh, he didn't have a chance. The clown okay. dropped his accordion and ran Uh, thanks the again for the host, detective. That's all I can remember. What did the old man do when the clown snatched his briefcase? Nothing. He just sat there like he was frozen. How did the old man behave? Well, agitated. He kept looking about him at the door, at his watch. As if he was waiting for someone? Yes, I suppose so. He was worried about something, that's for sure. If you ask me, he was having an affair. He had that look about him, like a guilty husband. Okay, thank you. Stay here, mademoiselle. I'm going to look around for evidence. Well, I did a better start this time. Right? I didn't run on me run off the street. I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. So he tried to not leave any trace of his identity. It's an important information. Okay, we saved. Let's go down. Ooh, nice, cute scene. Looks really sweet. Really pretty. Oh, 
Oh, what is this? As I picked up the plastic ball, I realized it was intended to be... Oh, the clown was here. Yeah. It was the clown's red nose. Okay. I imagine the guys that there's... You can. What's that? I scooped up the sodden tissue. It was cold and greasy, like breakfast leftovers. It was the soggy tissue I'd found in the sewers. Okay. The nose was hollow. Printed on the inside were the words La Rise du Monde, Paris. Oh. Okay. The railing was put there for a simple reason. To stop people getting past. It worked. Oh, what's this? I took hold of the scrap of material and unsnagged it from the spike. Can move. Um, I believe we can go in the water or anything. So we just go up, I think. I imagine everything is left over from the clown. As always, it sounds bad. Um. Hold it right there. Well, that didn't work out well. And now I've got you. What are you talking about? Your trespasses. Come out of there immediately. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. Ha! You won't catch me with tricks like this. Keep your distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, what were you looking for? Um, a clown. I was looking for a clown. Huh, ridiculous. Do you really expect me to believe that? Well, that is I true. I bomb in the cafe and blew it up. What? The cafe? Blown up? Mon Dieu, that is awful. And you say the person responsible was dressed as a clown? That's right. He blew up the cafe, escaped into the sewer, changed his clothes, and came up here. Ah, mon dieu! Then, the man I chased, do you think that man and the clown are one and the same? Well, yes, it had crossed my mind. Ah, that still does not explain what you were doing down the sewer. For all I know, you are in league. Luke, that oh, just no. happens I sometimes. <laughs> Most tourists are content with the Eiffel Tower, the Lou, or the Pigalle. I didn't realize my waste pipes were such. Don't cap on me. It's just. Maybe I just like that. Um. Okay, let's talk about clown. Just looking for one specific clown that murdered. Well, not more. Well, kinda did murder, but basically, mainly blew up the cafe rather than murder Bonner. Oh, what is there to tell? He was a typical criminal type. <laughs> Just like Thanks, man. You. Thanks a lot for that. It may be ridiculous at times, but never illogical. That's good to think. That's good. Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, he doesn't. Who is he? The man who was killed in the cafe. I'm gonna find the guy responsible. I'll find him. 
even if it means following him down every sewer in every city in Europe. Ah, you need some sense <coughs> boots. You won't get far with those uh, stupid sneakers. Thanks, man. Thanks for advice. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Oh, hey, she isn't hurt, is she? No, she's fine. Why? Oh. Everyone has a crush on that waitress? Isn't safe with the likes of you roaming the streets. Can't you understand? I'm not a gangster. I'm an American tourist. <laughs> ah, that's what you say. Thanks. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Why, well, I, I didn't notice. Uh, now are you going to leave, or do I have to call the police? I will leave soon, but I also want to ask you about a few things. What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing, monsieur. It's uh, disgusting. What on earth possessed you to show it to me? Someone has emptied their nostrils into it. Well, that someone might be a murderer. Do you recognize this material? I am not telling you anything. Are you sure you've never seen this material before? I told you, I have nothing to say. I don't like that. Take a look at this false nose. I've never seen it before in my life. Sorry to hear that, man. I, have I wish you going. did. i let you out. Okay. Thanks for your time. Go on, be off with you.